so well. It's just fine. Wait a minute. <laughs> So what? It's just that. Oh my god. Hello everyone. Welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. This is way more intimidating than I expected. Uh, I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Yes. Well, hello and welcome to our show. Yes, welcome. Thank you all for coming. This is so exciting. This is like a bigger room than I, I thought there would be like three men in a trench coat just like uh, eat in jerking the audience. off in jerking the corner off. yes yeah. which would have been fine but yeah. that's what i expected exactly no welcome i mean i'm ron i'm janelle and we are the hosts of so, so what it's, it's just, just sex. sex and our whole show was created because um i started doing stand-up comedy and yeah. that seemed to be going well but at the end of every one of my shows <laughs> seemed, seemed to be going well se it seemed okay seemed okay by janelle's standards it was this didn't make us any money uh so. did we get a check from this yeah. no <laughs> no so. so but it seemed to be going okay but the common theme mm. after every show was people would come up to you mm -hmm. and they would be like is it okay that he talks about <laughs> you like this <laughs> Like, everybody was always like, he just said three jokes about how you sucked his dick on a Friday. Yeah, that's true. And they were just like, they couldn't believe you were okay <laughs> with that. They were just like, is that like, okay? Like, don't you suck dick too? Like, yeah. I don't understand why is there it's such like, a shocking factor to It's like, to oh this. my God, I guess Janelle's the only one who sucks dick. But, you know, when you've been married for 22 years, I think I gotta suck some dick after yeah. 20 years. Come on. Yeah, actually, I don't think you need to. Well, because you because basically you being there, to. I want it to. keeps me around. It keeps you around. It's definitely different for guys and girls. <laughs> like, like a girl doesn't <laughs> necessarily need to suck dick after 22 years of marriage. <laughs> the guy will just stay there. <laughs> but a guy needs to keep a job and he has to like start doing more well, and yeah. like fix shit. Well, yeah. So you guys have a lot shit. on them. You need to have a pretty decent sized penis. Thank and you. And you need to make Thank some you. money. Everyone heard that. <laughs> I have a decent <laughs> you need to do all size of penis. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you calling my dick decent in it's, front of 30 people. It's like decent size. Thank yes. you. Like, thank you. You know what? You all, you've you already thrown this out in your stand-up. I have. How I watch porn. You do? I'm sorry. We didn't do the disclaimer. For we anyone okay, I'm sorry. Who Let's do a disclaimer I need to do quick. a disclaimer. Yes. This is important. She, this was very. Janelle was like the first thing we have to do yes. is a disclaimer. First thing, we're not therapists. No. Not marriage. Therapists. Anything that we say, we've can been and married not for a long motherfucking time. We have. Second disclaimer may have came too late because I've already said motherfucking. But we're gonna say fuck. We're gonna say pussy. We're gonna say dick. We're gonna say asshole or ass or maybe a combination of things. Or anal. Or anal. We, we haven't planned this out yet, so anal no. may not come in this <laughs> one. Anal it's, may we not. We usually reserve we this for. Have special like occasions. Forty-five minutes, so I don't know. Anal may not make yeah, it to the, the conversation. First segment. The first segment is forty-five <laughs> minutes, but we're gonna say some things. Yeah, and we're we, gonna say some things. Yeah. So I'm sorry in advance. I guess I'm not sorry. Not sorry. I guess I'm not. Okay, sorry. Taylor Swift. I'm just saying I'm not sorry, but I am sorry. Like I'm gonna say some things that might offend people. Right, you're gonna say some things. Maybe. Normally, when I'm on no, you're stage, you're definitely gonna offend people. I I've had like so we did a show here. And then I came out and I did like 20 minutes of comedy. <laughs> and by the time my set was done, three people left. <laughs> and then they were yelling at Barry. They were like, Barry, this man said anal. And Barry's like, yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> so we really appreciate that. Yes. But um, in, in the show, we talk about a lot of stuff. So we, do. So we started this because of the comedy. Mm -hmm. And we think that it's not fair that people can't talk about this kind of stuff in everyday society. In everyday conversation. Yeah, like you should be able to be like, hey, I'd like three cups of uh, <laughs> black coffee and <laughs> one rim job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you should be, it should where, just be normal. Where would you say that? At Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and when and they're like, what's your name? I'll be like, daddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're writing daddy on the cup. Yeah, they write daddy on the cup. Okay. And then, like, three dudes are like, wait, 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 wait. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> like, that's a thing? You could say daddy? Well, shit. That's true. Yeah. So, so we're trying to normalize the conversation of sex. Everyone has sex. Everybody. Everyone enjoys sex. Every hopefully. single person. 
And so that's why we started our podcast. Yes. Well, I'm, I guess I'm not everybody. There's some people you see walking down the street. <laughs> you're like, that dude's definitely not <laughs> fucking. You never say that about a girl, though. Why? I don't know. When you see a guy walking down the street, you're like, that dude has not had sex in a you long time. You don't say that about g- girls have plenty of bad sex. No, because no, girls have plenty of bad sex. True. But they still have sex. Like, th- it doesn't matter what a girl looks like, who she is, what her beliefs are. She walks down the street and she can just like, <laughs> she has a trail of dudes hungry for that ass. That's true. On but the you, way you home. Can ha- is it quality over quantity? I don't know. I think it's quality over quantity. That's because you're a girl. <laughs> you get to choose. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> if anybody randomly wanted to jerk me off, I'd be like, that's fine. What's your name? He's like, Luke. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would be completely fine. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm just happy someone wants to touch my dick. Okay. Well, I touch your dick all the time. No, you do, but like when you're married, it's like I'm not like someone named I don't know Jenny or (laughs) something. I don't know. You know, I don't know. No, it's yeah. You're you're right. There's there's a who you haven't met before, and it's like exciting and new. Yeah, it's like it's like oh, it's like uh, the same hand that's been rubbing it for twenty two years. Yeah, it's like it's like my dick's talking to your hand. It's like hey hand, what's up? (laughs) Hey, what's up? (laughs) Apparently, it's Thursday. I'm just going to take care of you. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I spent <laughs> most of the week in his hand. Remember all those times you went and bought toilet paper at the store? <laughs> he jerked off the moment you left the house. Because that's just like a thing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like the moment that you like walk. I'm not even kidding. Like the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad you clarified. No, Thank, yeah, you. Like, Thank you. Like, like if you're like, oh, I'm going to go to the store and buy some stuff or get my nails done. I'm like, okay, sounds cool. I'll just be here playing video games. <laughs> I put the controller down, <laughs> pick up my phone. <laughs> I go to my favorite <laughs> porn, and I'm just like, and I'm, I've am i come, and I'm already normal by the time you get back. How long back. did that take? 45 30 seconds. seconds? Oh, I said, oh, f- wow. I said 45. Thank you. You're so sweet. I gave sweet. you the benefit of you the doubt. You said decent-sized dick <laughs> and 45 <laughs> seconds. You are the nicest wife. That's why we've been married I for am. 22 I years. I know I am. Mm-hmm. What were we saying? Oh, why we do the show? Oh yeah, why we yeah, do the so show? Yeah, so we're trying to just normalize the conversation <laughs> between couples about having sex because that's what people do. And I don't just mean like couples that have been married for a long time. We're talking like in some of our episodes, we've talked about like first Tinder date. Oh yeah. Right? Like oh, yeah. like on the first Tinder date, it should be completely fine for you to just fuck. And here's what I like. Yeah, here's what I like. Like, while you're sitting there and you have that meeting to make sure the other person's not going to murder you at some random bar, you've done this quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, you've done it more than once, right? <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay, so I feel like, uh, how many times have I done it? Like, <laughs> once? You've tried, like, 40 million. Yeah, and, and then I show up like on twice. the date and they're like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> like, you weren't the guy from the picture. <laughs> you're definitely one inch shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that dick. Oh, it is you, but no, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> no, but so um, you know, you sit there and you you get you go on these dates and you're like, like your sister does this all the time. She'll yeah. text you and be like, oh, I just met this random dude and we had drinks and then we had sex and like now I feel bad. Mm-hmm. And and you're always like, why do you feel bad? Isn't yeah. that what you wanted? Yeah. But like, there's a difference between I guess. She's, she literally called. She's thirty. I'm right. forty. She's thirty. Whatever. Who cares? Who no one's who counting. Cares? No one's counting. No one's counting. No one's counting. But she's like, I met this guy. He had the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, okay, tell me more. And she's like, it was terrible. And he just, you know, I don't know. He didn't know how to treat me right. And I'm just like, why can't you just use it for your benefit at that point? Like, you're you in know, the moment. You swiped on him or whatever. Yeah. I think she met him at a bar, actually. Yeah. But why can't you use them for your benefit? Like you don't have to feel bad for using this penis in this moment. He's using your vagina in this moment. It's the same fucking thing. Guys do it all the time. They do it all the time. All the time. They have a bad rap. Would you say? Is it a rep? No, a rap. It's a rap. It's a rap. I think it's a rep. No, like it's a bad like rap. Like a reputation. No, I get what you're saying. No, I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> no, I don't know. We're going to have to Google this at the end of the show. We don't have our phones. We can't Google it. Yeah, so which brings a good point. Like it's interesting. Like when we're doing a podcast <laughs> at home, we're just sitting in our freaking. Also, my hair is in a bun and I'm in my pajamas. Yeah, so. We're, and so we're just sitting at our table just talking about this shit. So yeah. having people here. I have <laughs> Super like it's weird. So weird. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's a bad rep. It's a bad rep. Yeah. Not rap. I think it's a bad rap. Whatever. You know what? You You're know usually what? Whatever. right. You're usually right. I am right. I want to say time. like like if, if we were on a scale from zero to a hundred, you're like ninety eight percent right. <laughs> 
But those two percent <laughs> feel so good. <laughs> Are there guys in here right now that love that two percent when they're just kind of right? Right? Yeah. yeah. It's like fuck yeah. We live. <laughs> we're wrong so much <laughs> that it's just nice to be right once. Okay. You know what's fucked up about I'm the sorry right for wrong? You. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this yesterday. What I think. Were we I, so, like, I did something, and Janelle's like, can you not do that? It's super <laughs> annoying. And I'm like, can you do me a favor and just tell me when I'm doing something that's not annoying? Because I feel like you only oh, tell me. Oh, the motherfucking Coles parking lot. Oh, you yeah. park in the wrong fucking parking lot I like to park on time. the side where, you know, it's on the left side. No, I don't you like to park in the one that's always full of <laughs> tourists and, like, people that are just drinking downtown, which is totally fine, you know. Yeah, Napa I mean, it's Napa, tourism, you know. Whatever. Yay! But it's like, go to the fucking side lot. And I'm like, why do you why do you always go to yeah, the but it, fucking main I'm always lot? wrong. You're just like, why can't you just do this? And then I'm like, well, I guess I'm <laughs> fucking wrong. But I wish you would just tell me when I did something good. Like how amazing, guys, there's like eight of you in the audience. <laughs> Is there hey? Yeah. How how awesome would it be if like you just did something as stupid as putting the toilet paper back and then suddenly there's like this whole thing about, hey, I just want to let you know I really appreciate <laughs> That the that the fold is on the back side of it, so that when I'm <laughs> pulling on it, yeah. Oh, the other uh, yes, fucking exactly. You see, you girls can't even keep exactly. that shit together. No. I don't even know what the it's fuck. It's always fold. It's over. Oh, not under. I don't fucking know. It's over. All I'm saying is, guys, it's instant. I'm always. Let me ask you a question. Can and can you in I front of in front I can't of everybody wait here. for this question. I'm when so is the last time that I said you did something wrong? You tell me I do shit wrong all the Name time. Name one. I talk down to you. I talk oh, shit. Oh, no, not in a fight. I'm oh, talking oh, about, okay. oh, I'm talking about okay, like, when have I been fight. like, why is this pot <laughs> on the right side when it's supposed because to be on the I left side? Because I cook all the motherfucking time. That's why. What am, what am I going to tell you that you're putting a pot on the wrong side of the stove? You're not cooking shit. No, you know what? Agree to disagree. Thank you. Let's just uh, move along. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> no, but it's so interesting. Like, guys are very, like, go with the flow. Like, we're just like, oh, what? Okay, this. I'll move it. Like, there's been times where, like, shit's been, like, there's been times where, like, true, dis you know, true story, full true disclosure. True story, full disclosure. This will be true the first disclosure. time I say this, so I apologize. Yes. There's been times where you didn't flush the toilet, and I just did it. If I'm ever, trying to save the motherfucking planet. No, I'm just saying, but if... <laughs> <laughs> if you pee, you don't have to flush it No, every I'm time. talking about number two. No, I've never not no, flushed you on have. number two. You have. Excuse me. Look at this guy. <laughs> this guy right here is looking over and he's like, you leave that shit <laughs> in the toilet all the time. They're fighting. <laughs> There's a divorce waiting to happen right there in the front. He's like, your shit's in the toilet every Friday. We go to Don Perico's on Thursday. <laughs> right, no flush Friday. <laughs> it's it's no, no flush Friday. <laughs> but I'm just saying, guys, don't point that shit out. We don't. We don't make it a thing. We don't sit there and we go. We have to talk this about this later because there's never been a time where I do not flush. <laughs> but you can't actually say. You can't actually no, say. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. All right. I'm Agree sure. to disagree. Agree to disagree. <laughs> That's ninety-eight percent. It's my it's my two percent right. Everybody wants to be part of the one percent. I'm happy in the two percent. If I'm right once a year, it's like I'm jerking off and like coming on my own face. Oh my. I'm happy. I'm You're just like coming on your own face. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why haven't you recorded this for me? What do you mean? You haven't recorded coming like, on my own face because yeah, you won't let me that. come on your face. So I'm not gonna let you see what You're it looks like. You're not coming on my face ever. Okay. I know they do it all. They do it all in the porn. They just love it. <laughs> yeah. They just it, like love it. It's like they do eyelashes. love it. I'm just like, no, I'm not into it. You're that. the only girl I've ever seen this excuse, week. Excuse, uh, excuse me. <laughs> what? Wait, let me let you finish. You're the only girl I've ever seen this week that doesn't prepare and go. <laughs> <laughs> How many porns have you watched this week? A couple hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Girls don't like it. Okay, agree to disagree. Say, there's probably a percentage that do. Well, don't like having come in their face. Do you like having come in your face? Thank you. Thank you. And all do you like having in your fake eyelashes? Like, I don't want that in there. Like, I don't. Like, oh, no. they're expensive. Oh, well, how about, can I just, like, come on the chit? Forget it. That's a different conversation. <laughs> what if you give someone pink eye from your cum? I that then I would Are you gonna go get for the checked. Doctor bills? No, but I would go get checked if my cum <laughs> gave someone pink eye. I would make a doctor's appointment that minute. 
Do you think your Tinder date would tell you, hey, bro, um, excuse me? No, because I blocked her. He gave me pa- If I came exactly. on her face, I blocked her. Totally a dude thing. That is totally. a guy. Oh, thank you. See, w- so much stuff has been said tonight that has never been said to me before. First, I have a decent dick. Decent. decent. Second, I'm a total dude. That's amazing. All these things. I've, I've, this is the best show I've ever been in. <laughs> Everybody thinks my dick's mediocre. They're so like, you wanna, oh. You want to come in someone's eyes? Is that what you're saying? To no, I'm now? saying I'm saying it'd be nice to come in someone's face. You want to come in someone's eyes. You want to you wanna just <laughs> and just put it in their eyes. I would like to know how that would be. Don't you want to fuck me in the ass? Sorry, disclaimer was given. <laughs> Pardon me. So the um, answer to the question, Janelle. Yes, I would like to try it. Okay, so if you, get to, so if you ever get to <laughs> fuck me in the ass, I want to come on your face. There, you, you've already did said. Did you say it's great? <laughs> oh, a trade-off. Oh, I was about to get This guy's the coolest fucking dude I've ever seen. He's flushing her shit down the toilet. He gets to come on her face. I'm like, holy shit. I want to be him for like 30 seconds. Cause you should be him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I misread the situation. Well, I'm watching porn, too. No, you do. You watch a. Qu- you watch. I think you watch more porn than I do. I don't think so. You have some site that I don't even know what it. I don't even know what the site is. You're I like, show Here's you it what it is all the time. You had some girl masturbating on your Twitter feed today. She I did. don't have that. She did. I I'm follow sure the right stuff. You're watching more porn than I do. I might be. I mean, I feel like I'm a good connoisseur of porn. <laughs> connoisseur. Yeah, connoisseur. Yeah, it's a connoisseur. Yeah. No connoisseur. Yes. It's <laughs> like eating meat. <laughs> No, I, <laughs> I, do, I, do, I do feel like I'm a good connoisseur. Connoisseur, of porn. yes. I watch quite a bit of it. I actually, fun fact. Fun fact. I watch so much porn that I've seen most of the porn on the sites that I go to. Yeah. Like I have to wait for like every Thursday <laughs> to see what new stuff they add on there. Yeah. That's yeah. like a long week because uh, like realistically, long week. Yeah. guys, when you watch porn, if you know what you like and you go to the things you like, you you come in like five minutes. So now you have to wait seven days for something new. There's so much content. How do you have to wait seven days? Because I, I like, I, you know, I just... Uh, no, no. Are you waiting for one particular person? No, like, I don't have a porn... I, mean, I guess I do have a porn star crush. But we kind of both have a porn star crush. No, I don't. No, we like Allison Parker. We... We like <laughs> Allison Parker. We All I'm saying is that every 7 days the sites that I go to, they put out new content and it takes me some time. So I can go days without watching porn. Yeah. But you 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 like to watch porn. I like it. I like it a lot. You do. Which is an interesting thing cuz that's one of the things on my on my comedy that we do where I talk about like watching porn with your partner cuz it's super important. It's like guys do it, but then like they don't talk about it. So it becomes this like weird thing that they do on their own. And there's right. a little bit of shame yes, there is. attached to it. That's true. And then when you when you try to tell your partner what you want to watch, mm-hmm. which I say in my show, you don't just come out with it. You know, I'm not sitting there going like, oh, let's watch, you know, 18-year-old birthday lesbian porn. Right. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, we'll just watch regular porn. Yeah. And then we kind of had that same situation where I'm That's like, what, true. what do you like? And you're like, I don't know. I don't really want to tell you what I like. I want to keep things for me. Yeah. I'm a strong, independent woman in 2019. That's true. But, you know, some of the stuff you have to share with each other, especially if it makes you, like, you know, tingle down under. You Ting- know, like right? where? It's like, like if you're, t- like, like in your pussy. Oh, right? okay. Okay. I was just checking. Like, if it makes you tingle, you should be sharing that because I don't have that. That's not my life. I'm not living that porn. I'm living with you, who I've been married to for 20 years. And I'm not years. a porn. <laughs> I feel like you just totally downgraded no, I'm just me. Saying, no, don't touch honey, me, woman. I'm no, I'm just saying, kidding. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It, it's important after 22 years to yeah, like to be keep able it spicy. You and if keep something it spicy. on the internet makes me like, ooh, I'm a little turned. Yeah, right I get now. home from work and you're like, can I show you something? Yeah. And I'm like, fuck yeah, and I start taking my clothes. She's like, calm down. I mean, it's like the same thing if like fucking guys are looking at Taylor Swift and her newest fucking music video. It's like, ooh, my dick is getting a little tingle in that, you know? Is she's, that a thing? She's young and she's so pretty and is she's I so I pure. She's so pure. Is it? Like, I want to dirty that up a little bit. Why is that not the same as watching some porn? Oh, I, I guess you're absolutely right. I love the destruction of innocence. I know. You yeah, told me that. Like seeing some completely innocent whatever girl you just described. And Taylor then, Swift. And then just coming on her face. Like, I'm like, ah! 
in her eyes. Yeah. In her eyes. Where yeah. she's like, excuse me, excuse me, I have to peel this and out of my eyes. Interesting fun fact, another fun you know, fact. Yes, go ahead. I will I wanna watch the porn that goes six minutes after where the guy's like, You can't wash that off. <laughs> you know, I wanna see her going, Okay. <laughs> thank you for the money. It's been really good. This was a great Excuse show. Excuse me, they're both getting paid. They're no, both getting paid. They are. He's getting paid to have a big dick. She's getting paid to get cum in her eyeballs. They're both getting paid in oh, a porn. I think you. I think you. You haven't really. Been You're talking attention. about prostitution. No, I don't think you've been paying attention. I only watch porn with guys whose dicks are smaller than mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, if well, a guy's a dick is margin. bigger than mine, yeah, it's like there's only like six videos <laughs> I get to watch a year. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why I have to wait a week. You're right. <laughs> Because I, it's like that guy's He's dick's like way too big. He's like filtering like small dicks, tiny females. I put uh, in, I put I in the keyword baby dick. Yeah, baby dick makes You're me like feel amazing. You're like you have one amazing. video after <laughs> your search. <laughs> it makes me feel so good. I'm sorry, but you don't you don't have to worry about no, that. No, I do not. Like like girls can watch any video because they're like because even you said this one time you're like oh I, that's huge I'd I'd give that a shot. <laughs> Yeah, I like, say that all the time. Like there was this one dude who had this like huge dick, <laughs> and we're about to have sex with him, and I'm like, "Baby, are you, like I'm doing, I, like we didn't say any words, but like with my eyes, I'm like, are you gonna take that?'" And she's like, "Oh yeah, I think I'll be okay." <laughs> right? You were like, "I think I'm gonna be just fine," and then it went in you, and I was like, "Oh my god, you're amazing." The vagina is a wonderful creature. It is it's a creature of its own. It it just adapts to its environment. It just. <laughs> It does its thing. It just it, the, and the thing is, is the dick is not. I know. The dick is like, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here. I'm here. I'm going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Okay, okay. I'm gone. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to go to sleep for an hour. <laughs> if you're young. Yeah. If you're young, you go to sleep for a few minutes, and then you're back. You but do a pretty good job at 42-ish. Oh, thank you. You do a pretty good job. Wow, I'm decent, and I do a pretty good job. But this you got you got some pills lately. That oh, I, d I do. You did, you did. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. when we're going to have someone else in the room. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm like, oh, if there's an extra person, you're like, I'm popping a pill. I'm oh, like, yeah. What the fuck? Why not? Why don't I get a pill? Like, oh. I should get the pill. Yo, well, <laughs> they, I guess they make I pills for you. I should get the pill you. moment. What would the pill do for you? What do you want the pill it to do? It would give me longer, you know, situation. You, but you want to come, and it happens so infrequently for women that if it can't, you want a pill that makes it shorter. Let's talk about this. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's talk about okay, this. Go. Okay, go. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the fact that we talked about this. We mm -hmm. talked about this in private. Like, 100% of the time, 100% of the time. 100% of the time. I'm going to say 99.99% no. okay, of the time. Sure. A guy will come. Every time. I'm going to say, I don't know what the odds, I don't know what the percentage is. No, remember is. I did the math. I said we did like 2,000, <laughs> we had sex 2,000 times this year, and you came like... 80% of the yeah. time. Yeah. So even though we're married, and now yes. I know exactly what to do to and same here. fucking come with you. Because yep. we've been doing it for 22 yep. years. I know exactly where to lick and where to stick. Exactly. You yep. you got it right. You got the map of my body. You're good. Right. I know when to just lay there <laughs> and just be like, yes, mistress. And I'm just like, shut up. Yeah, exactly. Shut up and just let me do my thing. Yeah. Even with that, I'm not 100% or even 99.9%. .9%. No. And when you are single and you're out on dates, how many times does a man actually put forth effort to make sure that the girl he's fucking comes? So now you're d now if you're just talking about dates, I think your percentage just dropped to like sixty. Twenty five. Twenty. Jesus. Is that high? I, I don't even know. Guys. I don't even know. Well, at, uh, how many times? I'm at a zero percent. I'm at a zero percent. So so every time you've had sex with some dude, you haven't come. One time, but it's only because it was multiple people. Multiple. No. No. What? Well, I don't know. <laughs> No, multiple interactions with the same person. Oh, so you had so you have to kind of like get your thing. Yes, across. you have to be like comfortable or whatever. Okay, like for me anyway. So, so what you're saying is that like with guys, they're just happy to be there, and girls have to have a connection. I with don't know. A guy. Is it anatomy where it's just like bleh, 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 okay, I'm gonna come. I I don't know. I girls are a little bit more complex. The last time I told you that if I slap my dick against the wall long enough, I'm gonna come. You got mad. You did say that. <laughs> you got mad because you were like you were like. I'm more than just a wall that you slap your dick against. Oh, today you called women a cum dumpster. No, I didn't know that. You're taking it out of context. <laughs> no. 
I was talking about a specific. I'm revealing your secret. <laughs> no, I was talking about a specific instance in which it's just a cum dump, which is just having sex with someone so you can. That cum. means I'm a dumpster. And that's what you said, and then I was like, I, I just, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I so just want to make sure when you say dump, that means you're dumping into a. No, dumpster. you're absolutely right, and these are. This is exactly why these conversations need to happen because guys' perspective and a female's perspective are so different. Yeah. Because a guy is just like, oh shit, I'm gonna get to fuck this person. I just have to last as long as humanly possible. Like a few minutes later, I came. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. And a girl's like, you never even went down on me. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a weird world. That's very weird. And that's why we created this podcast. And I thought about this today, weird, because we're you know obviously we're thinking about like stuff to talk about. We've talked about so much in our show. We're like twenty. This is our twenty second episode. Yeah. So we've just been like pouring our hearts out in this show, mm. and we talked about so much. And I know there's people here that are maybe have never heard us. I'm pretty sure no one in here has heard our show. But I thought about this today. Like I think this is profound, and I don't know. I'm just saying. I am so. Excited. I'm just saying. What if, like, throughout when you're in high school and you're learning about sex, like, and you're in sex education, you learn about a female's anatomy as a male? Yeah. I'm giving you the female's perspective. Right. Well, actually, as a female, I never got the male's perspective. So you could speak to the male's perspective. I'll wait till you're done. But the female, like, the from a man's perspective, like, if you were in sex education and you learned about where the clitoris is, like, I was watching Jersey Shore the other day. Sorry, don't judge me, but I like that show. And the g- <laughs> one of the guys on the show was like, didn't know how many holes a girl has. Oh, I remember that episode. Yeah. So, like, if you taught in high school or younger, like, maybe when men start getting interested in sex, what is it, like, 12, 13? It's whenever they start slapping their dick against the Yeah, like the wall. 12, 13, right? Yeah. Right? Is that right? Well, I started at, like, 11, but Okay, yeah. 11 to 14, I don't know, whatever, whatever yeah. the fucking age is. If you started at that age, like, really teaching these kids, and females and males, about their anatomy, not just about using condoms, not just about STDs, whatever, like, that's what I learned in you know, sex ed. Right. If you taught someone what their body means to them, how much of a different world we would live in. No, I completely agree. And I think we were talking about this in our last episode, with the, which is the Toys R Us episode. Um, and we were talking about, like, you, when you're growing up, you're told that, like, either sex is bad or you're not told anything at all. Like, y- there's no there's no middle ground. And I know everybody here is uh, close to our age, I hope. And um, so, so you never got that whole thing where, like, you, you, like, if I was caught jerking off, which I never was, I have like spider sense when I'm jerking off. Like, like I remember when I was younger, like, I could hear, I could hear my mom's car from like a mile <laughs> away, <laughs> and I would put my dick away. <laughs> but like, o- or like, I would be like, okay, I'm almost there, and I'd be like, oh, what? <laughs> You know, like I would have this like like spider sense, like, and I, I felt like I was doing something <laughs> wrong. <laughs> so was there a clap over there? <laughs> because it's true. It's like you're sitting there and you're just like you're like in your room. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like everything was wrong. Yeah. Like like and you it felt dirty. I felt dirty. Yeah. And then I, I was saving this story. To tell you on this show. Oh. This is a story you've never heard before. Oh, wow. So, like, one time, I was sitting there, and I was, like, humping a toy. hmm And I had, I don't know why, I was, like, chilling in my room. I was playing Pac-Man, and then I, like, <laughs> rolled over, <laughs> and this toy felt good on my crotch. Yeah. And I was, like, humping this toy, <laughs> and then I got yelled at and, like, made to feel, like, terrible. Oh, someone caught you. Yeah, like, I think it was my mom or my oh. grandma. Because they were the same person when I was younger. <laughs> but I was like, I'm like humping this toy, and they were like, oh, my God, God's going to cut your dick off, like all this stuff. They said cut your no, dick no, off? No, I'm, no, I'm just doing it for the flavor You're of the show. You're being dramatic. Yeah. Okay, I'm used to it. Go oh, ahead. my God, I'm not being dramatic. I'm just saying that's how I felt. No, I got you. So I was like, I was like yelled at <laughs> and made to feel so bad about humping this toy. Mm-hmm. And then you fast forward, and I feel like if we, like, I don't know. Our oldest kid would never have done that. And our youngest kid, like, went to a freaking convention and learned about, like, came home. He's like, hey, did you guys know that (laughs) dicks can fit in both the anus and the vagina? (laughs) And we're like, okay, that was where we sent you. (laughs) 
<laughs> but it's like I like had my whoever was there at that time been like, hey, like I understand why you're doing that. That must feel good. Mm-hmm. This is what your body is going right, through right exactly. now. This is what you can do to make yourself feel better. I might not have been such a fucking sexual deviant right. when I was younger. Right. Because it's like when you're told the whole time that you can't have sex, which is, again, I know we keep talking about this, but this is why we started the show. It's like people need to know that it's okay to talk to each other and your kids about sex because – if you make it this bad, horrible thing, they're going to run out, and the first thing they're going to do right. is try to stick their dick in something. Yeah. From a guy's perspective. I try to stick my dick in everything. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I have a different perspective. You do, but I'm just saying my perspective, and then we'll switch over to yours. Like, when I did a podcast with <laughs> Anthony Rivera, he's Thank the one, you. I appreciate he's, he's that. the one running around and doing all of our sound and taking pictures. <laughs> but I had said to him, like, like, we had this, like, Keurig, and I'm like, if I was younger, I might have tried to stick my dick in there and learn very fast that that's a bad <laughs> place for your penis. What if it just, like, sucked the cum I, out I have of your no penis? idea how I was going to do it. But How we would that have even I don't know, but we worked. named it Katie Keurig. Oh. We na- we na- it was a whole thing. Okay. But it was important for me, and I didn't get that when I was younger, where I didn't never felt like I could talk about it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I grew up in an Italian Catholic home, and uh, I don't even I don't even know when I learned about like the word masturbation. Like I don't think that even existed. I'm not even sure when I even learned about it. Maybe when I was like 30 or something. But when you're growing up that way, and you have these feelings in your body. And you're like, okay, like like you said, like you rub up on something and you're like, oh, okay. Like, like, this mm, might feel okay. good. Maybe I feel a little bit of tingles. I don't know. But like, what do you do with that? You don't know what to do with that because you've never learned what to do with that. So what if my whoever, my teacher, mentor, parent, whoever would have taught me that. But I also feel like they didn't know. So then that makes me sad for them because at least now and I'm like 40 years old, like at least I know now. Yeah. But, like, I don't think that they even know, like, at their age, 60, 70, whatever. Like, whatever their age is today. Yeah, I don't know how they were taught, because I was never taught at the age of Yeah, and, and that's what we need to break the cycle. Yeah. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to break that cycle, and that's what we're trying to do with our show. We're trying to put stuff out there every week in which we're talking about things, and it's not just breaking the cycle between parents and their children and trying to, like, I mean, I feel like if a person, like, I don't know about you, but... If I was told that I can like jerk off to porn, I'm there might be less teenage pregnancy out there. I sure. might have just stayed home and just yeah. jerked off all the time. You probably would have had a better time. I might have, but yeah. instead I was out there in the world going, "Who can I get <laughs> to rub against my dick?" <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I and I think that that a lot of that plays into it, and it's very difficult because how do you talk to your kids about sex? Because we have two kids, and you know they're like twenty two and eighteen. And even now when we're like, hey, we want to talk to you guys about stuff, like our oldest is like. They're just like. Mm, 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 yeah, like our oldest mm-hmm. is like, no, thank you. No, thank I would you. like to I'm not gonna, have any I'm going to exit this. this conversation. And our youngest is like, oh, is that what you think sex is? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. I'm having the kind of sex that you couldn't even imagine, parents. <laughs> we, st- we still, no lie. We started this podcast <laughs> and our kid goes, our youngest kid, he's like. What are you guys going to talk about? And we're like, we're going to talk about sex and like being married for 22 years and that kind of stuff. And he's like, <laughs> what do you guys know about <laughs> sex? <laughs> and, and I'm not going to lie. Even though, even though he was like frustrated, he's not here right now and he probably would be mortified if I talked about him. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> he's like, I'm having a trouble with my girlfriend and she wants sex all the time and I don't know what to do about it. And I'm like, this doesn't seem like a huge problem. But I know, but millennials, right? Let's work through it. Like, let's that's what, like, it. my fucking kid is like sitting there bitching and moaning. My girlfriend wants to have sex <laughs> all the time. He's like, I'm, I'm like, tired. I work a lot. I can't do I'm it. I'm like, I, I seriously lost all respect for him <laughs> on that day. I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm like, mm, this doesn't seem like a bad problem, but let's talk it out. Let's and we see did. What and we can y- well, th- when I say we, I mean you. Yeah. Because you're the person that our kids go and talk to. Yeah. And then I'm the o- I'm the one that they're like, no, Dad. Oh. <laughs> you're just being ridiculous, Dad. Well, I, I offered up like, does she have a vibrator? Like maybe you could give her a vibrator, and then she could 
play with herself while you're tired. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she can get herself off while you're laying by her side watching Handmaid's Tale. I yeah. don't fucking know. You know what I mean? Like, like my biggest regret, and also it would have been gr- like terrible if I did this, but like if I would have walked in on my oldest son jerking off, <laughs> I would have been like, <laughs> that's my boy. No, he literally said to our our oldest son, he's 22 now, very successful, very smart, very lovely. He's my favorite. Don't tell anyone else. But uh, he, he, I, it rhymes at him when he was like, I don't know, 15 like or fi- 16. Like 14, 15. He's like, if you don't, if you don't find a girl to hang or a guy, with, I or said a both. Guy. Or I a guy. Both. If you don't find a girl or a guy to hang out with, I'm gonna think that you're a serial killer. Yeah. So you need to hang out with somebody. Yeah. So I, I can was like, we I just get you to be social a little bit? Yeah. I was like, I was like, you need there? to pick someone. <laughs> like, go find a guy <laughs> or a girl or a chicken <laughs> to go come in. Because if not, <laughs> you're going to grow up to be a serial killer. And yeah. then I totally told him about Jeffrey Dahmer and how you like did. that guy was very repressed. Yeah, you did. And I was like, I don't want my kid to be repressed. Yeah. My my youngest is the opposite of that. He's, he's like the, the least like repressed. He's like 13. He's like, guess what, guys? I learned how to put condom on a dick. And so uh, here's a banana. And he was like showing me. And I'm like, wait, where did I just send you? He's, he's like, I have all these lubes. Do you guys need he lubes? You should use lube lubes. He had a box lube and condoms in his room. Like, this is different. Yeah. And I'm like sitting there thinking to myself, I was like, we have like $45 <laughs> lube that's this big. <laughs> It's like water based. It's the best lube you could ever fucking get. Like, don't tell us about I lube. I wish they would sponsor us, actually. Yeah, they're, they're pretty great. It's called it's Pure. Pure. P U R E. No. No? Nope. You're right. I am right. I'm just I saying that right. for the show. I don't want to get into a fight. I'm definitely right. But no, that's you're right. Fine. No, absolutely. That's okay. You could, we could check it later. So that's what we try to do. So we're trying to come out here and we're trying to do it to bring our show to everyone so that that way we can just talk about like it's absolutely okay for you to talk with each other, especially if you're married or even like we were thinking about this um, and we talked about this before. But like how awesome would would it be for single women on their first date when they meet a dude who's just thinking that he's like a fuck boy and then suddenly like he gets to, he gets to like the bar and they get their drink and the girl goes – so one of the things I like is my clit to be stimulated. <laughs> I definitely want you to blow on it. I want you to tongue fuck me. Definitely finger my ass a little bit. And then when I come, you can stick your dick <laughs> in me. Like, how awesome would that be? That'd be amazing. But that's a, one of the things that people aren't doing because it, when you meet someone and you're like, <laughs> look, Caitlin's like, I do that all the time. Yeah, what you happens? do. What's the response? <laughs> See, that's good. And and one of the <laughs> Love Line. Uh, we love that show. But no, that yeah. Thank you. That's oh, what that's I so aim nice. To be actually. But that's super important. Like and and I feel like and I think we've talked about this is that men kind of just go on a date or they just go into the situation There's like a two pump chuck. Oh God! Instead of I like wasn't a gonna two buck say chuck, it's like a two pump chuck. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. Yeah. I was just gonna say that the guy was just like, I just need to stick my dick in her six or eighteen times, and we're no, good. No, it doesn't. A- eighteen. Well, I mean that's mm-hmm. a lot. I feel like it's like five or six. Yeah, th- this one right here. Let, let's just uh, put some uh, excuse context. Excuse me. No, let's just put some context so you c- so everybody can understand okay. where you're coming from. Okay. So some guy drives like forty five minutes to have sex with you, supposedly. She like sucks his dick for like two minutes, and then he's like. He comes and he's like, "All right, well, this was awesome." That and was the biggest waste of my time. Yeah, that's and terrible. And if, if no one has guessed it, we're kind of like open. We do our thing. We've been <laughs> married. <laughs> is that a guess? I don't know. Is that like a question at this point? But no, that's true. Yeah, and then so she tells me all these stories, and I'm like, "That's terrible." He literally drove from Hayward to Napa in rush hour traffic. <laughs> And I'm going to add the context of rush hour traffic for a three minute blowjob and then was done. And that's ridiculous because I'm hitting up girls on Tinder all the time (laughs) and none of them want to drive more than five minutes. (laughs) 
So I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. I, I, I don't have a know. good blowjob. I don't yeah, know. No, is, I, that the, is that the I moral so. of the story? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I can only say yes. Yeah, but him and like, I'm not going to mention any names or anything no, like that. But like he was like telling me he doesn't even jerk off. And I'm like, well, uh, like I've known him for a little while. And I'm like, well, can I be honest with you? This was over text, of yeah, course, because no one talks on the phone anymore. And I was like, well, can I just say something like I was your friend? He was like, yeah, go ahead. And I was like, okay, well, if you jerked off, you might be able to last longer than three minutes. Which is why I'm pretty good in bed. Because I jerk off You jerk off all, all the, the time, time with your 40 million <laughs> porns. Yes. Like, you're good. I basically, I you know. It's you can last like yeah, seven yeah. and a half minutes. Yeah, aside from the strip. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What? I'm just kidding. Aside from the stress of the show, I've come almost every day this week. Except for yesterday. So um, we just want to <laughs> let everybody know that uh, it's time to go get more yes, alcohol. go get more alcohol. Go get more alcohol. Drink and more. then get some more. And then come on back because yes. we're going to have questions and answers. Q&A. Q&A and it's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> so thank you so much. Go have drinks. Yes. This place has drinks, amazing drinks. Drinks, drinks, drinks. Love drinks, you guys. Drinks, drinks. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Act two of the big show. Thank you, Anthony. Good job. How about a hand for Anthony over here? Take care of the music for us. Are you ready for Ron and Janelle to come back out? I said, are you ready for Ron and Janelle to come back out? Okay, good job. Thank you for indulging me. Uh, I am going to bring them out now, and this microphone here is going to be available for anybody who wants to get up and ask a question contribute to the content of the program in some productive way or just have some fun or all those things, all right? So it's going to be right here in this corner, and I might have it in my hand at any given moment, but if you want to talk, just walk up here, and then I'll bring you the mic, okay? Got it? We're cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand to bring back out the amazing and exciting Ron and Janelle Bello. Here they come. Big hand. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Okay. Round so two. Round two. Let's just let's just kind of like talk about the elephant in the room right now, and not me. What's the elephant? It's what's just this is it? really weird. It is super weird. It's so interesting to have like people around us while we're just doing our show. Normally, we just sit there and talk to each other. Yeah. At the dining room table. We don't know who's laughing or not laughing. Yeah, and being, then, yeah. but some of the feedback we get online is that when people are listening to our show, they'll pause it, and then they'll have, like, couples will have a conversation True. amongst themselves about the stuff that we're talking about. Yeah. So we're yeah, like Reese and Rose, who donated our toys that we're wrapping oh yes, off tonight. Uh, Brian and Chelsea from Brian Reese and, and Rose. Chelsea, um, they're fantastic. They're just, like, from Brentwood, which is local. Yeah, right? it's, it's local. It's local. They started listening to our podcast, and they have listened to all of them. But they made it a point to say, like, they will pause and discuss the topics that we're talking about. Yeah, and it's really interesting because we just put started the show and just started putting content out there, assuming no one was listening. Yeah, like pretty much. Like that's the easy. That's the easiest way to really kind of. But go it's really about fun it. to just sh- like shit talk in your dining room. Yeah, like, and you're. Just you're just like saying whatever you want and like who cares like you just like whatever who cares and you're like oh we got like the downloads today i'm like whatever who cares who i said, said what who i wanted to said, oh, oh, oh. you did you did all of that i did okay, I in did. a certain type of way you did that it's kind of like and then sometimes we'll get on our soapbox and we'll be <laughs> like this is what we think <laughs> just like we kind of did in the first segment where we just kind of talk about like this is what we feel like right. society should be doing right and then, so so Reese and Rose, so they're the ones that you've been uh, getting raffling for the toys. Now, we've used three of the four toys that yeah, are on display. They're very powerful. So the first, the, the one toy we didn't use. and The this Batman is, looking one. And this is on me. <laughs> but it's the cock ring. I haven't slid it on Ron's dick yet. Yeah, and it expands, so it'll <laughs> definitely fit. What is that? anything to do with anything because well, i want to make sure people know that when they're looking at the picture it's, it's like big. this big it's pretty wide. i want them to know it can go to this <laughs> big it's silicone so it stretches it stretches right right you're right like i'm just like i want everybody to know that it gets real big <laughs> to fit around my it gets cock. to a decent size it gets it gets to a really good size <laughs> 
And what's awesome is that it sits at the base <laughs> of the dick. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then y- the 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 woman or man, whomever yeah. it's being used on, can control the vibrations with the remote, a yeah. wireless remote. Yeah. Yeah. It will not fit. <laughs> I am four. I'm about to be 43 in a few days, <laughs> and my balls are by my ankles. <laughs> if I tried to put that around my balls, it would just be like, <laughs> it would be like my balls would choke on a dick, but it's not. It's just this fucking cock. So ring. you can't take one for the team, but I'm supposed to get cum in my face. <laughs> hey, in, in your eyes. In my eyes, specifically. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, oh. well, that That's would... That's fucking... I would be, like, stretching. I, I, I played with it a little bit just to see, like, the, the you know, the... I don't know. Yeah, the elasticity. Yeah, the elasticity. Yes, exactly. exactly. And I, I don't know about the balls part, but... No, but Can I choke your balls? I don't know. You choke my throat all the time. Yeah, can I, I do. Can I choke your balls? I do. <laughs> we, can, we can try it. I'm not... I, I, I mean, would I'm down. I'm I would, down to choke your balls. I would 100% let you choke my balls before <laughs> I let you fuck me in the ass. <laughs> But hold on a second. I want to. <laughs> I want to be clear. I want to make sure everybody understands how this works. <laughs> I have very little say in this relationship, and very little what you might call masculinity. Sure. So the last thing I need is for you to be fucking me in the ass, and then I'd be. Who like, talked about fucking you in the ass? No, I'm just saying. Your balls? I know, but we're going come on your face and fuck me in the ass. Okay, it was just a like thing. Right. So I'm just saying, so I, I will I would do that. I would try to stick it around my balls. Instead of a pinky in the asshole? You never said a pinky. I said I would start with a pinky. I didn't we never had this conversation. I, think we I went have. I thought you went straight to fisting. No, what you want to put like a twelve inch dildo in your asshole? Oh, like, well if no. it's a pinky, we might try it. Oh what? I think I think we're gonna try it. I think we're gonna try you it. You heard it here first. Yeah. For the sa- so stay tuned for, for future you episodes have to see to the when episodes right right you've heard it nothing in the ass no he nothing in the ass but I might let a now pinky he's down slip for in a there pinky. Okay. I feel like it'd be really okay. weird you're sitting there behind me my fucking it's not scrotum that way. and everything and I'm you're just sucking like sucking your dick I stuck a pinky in there it's totally fine all right we'll try it you do it to me all the time but the website is <laughs> www dot recent rose r e e c e and rose dot com and they have donated these items that we are auctioning off at the yes, end of the show. Yes, and we met with them. And if you listen to the episode Toys R Us, um, their goal is to make toys more affordable because a lot of the toys that are out there are like over $100. Yes. Easily over $100. A lot of the toys that I've bought you are over $100. Yes, true. We have a whole like secret box. I got, I got like a pocket pussy and it was like 30 bucks. <laughs> Literally, Anthony was our oldest son was coming over today, and Ron's like, "Oh fuck, we have to like scoot all this stuff in the because we just got a we got all we got the all sex the toys, free. I was like, and oh, so yeah. all these sex toys are in a room because we've used three of the four of them. Yeah, so I had to like scoop them up and be like, "Oh shit." Our oldest is there. But you don't do that for our younger son. No, because our younger son, he was like, oh, these are awesome toys. It's an interesting dynamic. Because our our youngest. We have to get these out of the way for Anthony. Our youngest is fine. Yeah. But our oldest son's girlfriend is Monica. And she designed. And she she actually designed our new logo. She drew this by hand. By hand. So everybody give it up for Monica. She's very beautiful and very talented. Monica Magana. Thank you. And the first thing out of her mouth was, can I win <laughs> a sex toy? <laughs> and we were like, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, $5 for one <laughs> ticket. $20 or $20 for five or something. I, I don't know. We didn't set those. But we if you don't win those. one tonight with the raffle, um, go to their website. They're beautiful people, and they have affordable toys that are yes. like range between what thirty and forty dollars. Yeah, like the They're most so expensive cheap. one is the massager. Yeah, and it's that a massager. W- it's a massager, and what's massager cool is that the whole pussy. is that the dildo part is connected to a part that like has like a roller. You on could it. actually massage yourself. Actually. Yeah, and you could just sit there and massage yourself. Because I was saying to them that. Like I remember, like when I was growing up, my mom had one of those Hitachi she had shoulder, the boldest, yeah, the and it had like one. it was like a thing with like the big round thing she on top. She was making herself come all the time with. But that. then I also said that my grandma used to have it in her room. Oh yeah, your grandma so had like fourteen kids. You she think had, she, she had nine kids. Yeah. she had nine come kids. 
Yeah, she totally had nine kids. Well, hopefully kids. she was making herself come. Oh, I, I mean, don't know. That's a lot of effort to have a lot of kids like that. Yeah, I mean, you got it. And then, like, my grandma used to tell me, like, all the time, like, don't stick your dick in things. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then she had nine kids. And I'm like, someone liked to fuck. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, maybe, like I didn't know it then. I remember when I was like in my 30s. I think I I turned over to you and I said, I think my grandma liked to have sex. <laughs> she probably did. Because she had like fucking nine kids. Yeah. Seven. She probably never had an orgasm. Uh, probably. We talked about this. We on did. Our, one of our episodes. We did. You should. My listen. grandma never had an orgasm. She actually, she declared that to me. She did. She told you she mm-hmm. never had an orgasm, yes. and then she just said she that had, he pounded uh, on six her. Kids. She had six kids, and he would just come in the room and pound on her, and then he would go. He was a big Italian man. He was but a mafia. Yeah. And he's dead now, so I could say it, whatever. But but, but his uh, gumad, you think she had a fucking orgasm? Your sister's ass, he had a fucking gumad, <laughs> and uh, it was like a thing. He, it was he like liked a little, little bit of a fucking thing. He liked thing. little Irish women. They were like tiny and blonde. Yeah, and she's like, uh, oh, you're just fucking me in my pussy. You're not giving me a fucking orgasm. What the fuck? Does she even know what an orgasm was? I don't even know. Yeah, and we're all from Brooklyn, so that's not it's racist. It's fine. Totally fine. It's totally fine. Not racist. Not racist. I'm not trying to be racist. No, I'm, I'm just. No, I know you're from Italian from Brooklyn. I'm just letting everybody know. They're like, oh shit, I don't know if these some things. <laughs> like Anthony says, it's like uh, ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> like you never, you never know. <laughs> but this section of the bo- of the podcast, we're hoping that while we're talking, if anyone has a question, and we mean yes. any question, yes. just raise your hand. And Barry, our amazing host, who this beautiful place belongs to him and his crew, yeah, and they do amazing things here. So when they actually put on like real shows, not just talking <laughs> about <laughs> pinkies and asses, they put on like real shows, like nine to five, which beautiful. I'm going. I'm we're coming. So coming. so here's good. the thing: like nine to five is this was a movie, and then it was a TV show, and I don't know if anybody remembers this. I feel like a couple people do. But this show was about women who wanted to be respected in the workplace. And in 2019, the show is more relevant than ever. How because did it take so long and we're still fighting? I know. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. I let, you I, should like, be. Like, you control 90% of the things that I do. Yeah. This is because you have a dick. Like, you get, like, the superpower. No, 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 no. I totally disagree. I'm the one guy who my dicks gives me nothing. <laughs> you make <laughs> you make more money than me. More people are interested in you. I can't do and my dick is useless other than to please <laughs> you. My dick has spent 22 years learning every trick in the book to get you to come. Wah, 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 the bellows. Yeah, it's all like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 the bellows." <laughs> so, does anybody have a question right now from the audience? Come right on down to the so microphone. So, just right, ra- oh, right here. Oh, Larry's got a question. Come, come right down to the mic. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, let's bring them let's bring the there, there we go. Right on down. We'll put you right here <laughs> that everybody can s- see as you speak. Here we go. Nice and close. Oh, sorry. I just want to know Thanks, you guys are great. I love you, Larry. Thank you, love you, Larry. I just want to know if you guys have a pet, and how's, how do you get therapy for it? A what? A pet? Your pet, if you have a pet. Oh, like we, ha- per- we do have He's a pet. You've got to be going crazy. You mean a person or an no, actual uh, animal? So, so like, let, your, your pet must let's be clear this. Up. So we did an episode called DDLG Polly. Yeah, we need and to know if it's a human or an actual and animal. And on this episode, they had what's known as a pet, which was an adult woman who kitten. was a kitten. Yes. In their, in their triad. Yeah. So are you talking about our dog Bella, who yeah, we love? My little baby just, Bella. Like, how do we get therapy for it? Because oh, because she's just watching us fuck like crazy. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. No, I get it. No. So this is this is this is actually quite funny because the other day, um, Janelle had someone come over and they had fun while I was at work because and it's weird because you you're like I'm at work and she's like. She's like, I want you to come home for lunch and have like have sex with us. And I'm like, if I come home for lunch and have sex, we're gonna have sex for like two I'm like hours. It's gonna take less than an hour. Come on. Right. She said that, but I was like, it's gonna take a while. So I did not come home. So they so they had fun, and then I come home for my lunch, and Bella's like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Bella, did something happen while Dad was at work? And then I I was telling so then I was telling Janelle I was like, and then I'm like. <laughs> I'm like super amped up because I was like, this is super hot because I know what I, I know what was happening while it was happening. So then I come home and then I was like, we're going to fuck right now. And she's like, OK. And there's nothing better on a lunch break than coming home and having sex. Mm-hmm. That was like so fun. Yeah, that was like 
that was like for me personally because I knew that at this point I could do what I could last however long I want. I can do whatever I want, and I'm gonna be cool because you just had sex with somebody. That's true. And so I was, and it wasn't satisfying, by the way. It wasn't, which we talk about. We talk. Which about. we're just like, oh, it's so sad. But I was just like, oh, this is amazing. But but there was one time where I really thought I traumatized her. This is full disclosure. I'm who I am. I'm just like an open book. There, there was <laughs> Jessica. I think Jessica knows this story. We had the oh, uh, we I had this guy over. This is when we were like not. Yeah, together. we we took a we took a like we a took like a little, a little minute, a That's little, little minute. Uh, but this guy was behind me doing his thing, and I'm doing my thing. And you know how sex is like primal, and you know sometimes you're like making these noises where you're like enjoying yourself. And Bella almost bit the guy's <laughs> dick off. <laughs> yeah. She was like, what are you doing to my mother? Like, she was so mad at the whole situation, and I was so sad for her because I feel like I traumatized her. Yeah, and, and what's interesting is that, like, <laughs> is that when, if we get in the bed and there's still, like, daylight out or it's not 1130 <laughs> at night, our dog's like, I'm going to hang out on the floor. No, but she's learned to lay on the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what yeah, I'm saying. She's, like, so well-trained. She's yeah. so smart. <laughs> she's so smart. She's so smart. So, so now she just hangs like, out I on the floor. I know it's business time, so yeah. I'm going to be over here, guys, <laughs> while you do your thing, and uh, you just finish up, and then I'll come up. Yeah, and then and then she has this look on her face like, oh, my God, Dad, <laughs> you made Mom come so hard. <laughs> like, she's super cute. <laughs> she's super cute. That's my baby. Yeah, that's our baby. That's our baby. Does, does anybody else have a question? <laughs> anybody else? I feel like there's a question from the front row right come, here. Come on Caitlin. down or I will bring the mic Hugo. to you if you yep. like. And, uh, make yep, it easier. Hugo's yeah. got one. Hugo, stand by. I'm coming over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we want to know more about that uh, Pinky and Ron's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was, I was going to say, this This is like, you guys haven't come up with any like really good ideas on how to like you get cum on your face mm -hmm. and you get something in your butt. Like, I'm just saying, maybe you guys can find like a really cool latex mask, you know, that looks just like her, and then you could just come on her yeah. latex mask face. That's a good idea. And then, <laughs> yeah, really tell them. They she cost knows. like thousands of dollars. I really want you guys. I really want you guys. I want you to be able to come on her, and I want her. I don't know. Maybe no. no you I know, don't what know. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you're saying, Hugo. <laughs> Maybe they make like a retractable dick that she can strap on and like you know the swords in the movies where they oh like the that's sword. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks, it, it looks, where, she, where like she gets the idea in her head she that she's fucking like she's me in the ass. The shit out of you, but you're not really <laughs> feeling the pain. Yeah. I mean, no, I, I I feel good I questions. Feel like good questions. Those guys. are amazing <laughs> questions. Don't questions. feel shy. Good Come questions. on, guys. Don't feel shy. Yeah. Ask questions. No, good that's that's a good question. But to your first point. I, I have to say, if I'm being honest, and that's what we try to do These in this are podcast. These hard limit, hard limits. No, this this is <laughs> hard limits. <laughs> but we're, we're, we try to be super honest on this show. We do. We do. So I think that for me, I <laughs> want to just come on your face. That's not gonna. Not happen. a doll's face. Oh yeah, I know. Like like I don't want it to yeah, be like a caricature of you. To your point. You, is it just because you want me to feel like inferior to you, or you're like for the first time ever? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Where then I'm like, oh, I need to clean myself off. Like, yeah. is that what you want? Like, yeah. does that make you feel like superior? And I'm not like making no, fun of you. no, I'm I totally, actually yeah. being a super no, serious. No, this is totally serious. Aside it's like a, it's yeah. a superiority thing. It absolutely, one hundred percent. That's the exactly 100%. what it is. One hundred percent. But unlike the other day when. I had that crazy cum storm. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, I don't cum that hard. So it's not like it's really going to go anywhere other than probably on your chest. Like, you could be like, you can come on my face now. And I'd be like, okay. And if I happen to cum, it'll just dribble on your chest. I actually think you would feel bad about it. I would totally, <laughs> I would totally feel bad about it. Like, I like, if, I, about like it. If, if I had that cum. Because, like, the other day, just to let you know what we're talking about. The other day we were, we were playing. It's in fact it was the night where we were using Reese and Rose's toys. <laughs> so you you came and then it was my turn. So all of your attention was on me and you got coconut oil and you're going at it and you're just like holding my shaft with one hand while you're just doing the twisty top. Which if anybody's seen my show, that's what I love. Mm -hmm. So you're doing the twisty top and you're doing the thing. And then all of a sudden I come like more than I've probably ever come and you're like, like oh, it was like a geyser. Yeah. <laughs> And then in the midst of coming, you're all, ha, 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 ooh. I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. 
<laughs> yeah, and you literally go, okay, okay. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, I don't, and they can't control it. It's all, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like laughing at it. I wasn't laughing. I was marveling at the <laughs> fact that it had such trajectory. Okay. It was can, amazing. Can someone tell me if this sounds like Marvel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. That's literally what you did. So I'm like, like Woody Woodpecker? Or Woody Woodpecker? And I'm just saying, that's what you did. And I was just all, and then I literally, after I'm done, I'm like, I'm sorry. If it, you know, and you're like, why are you saying, apo- why are you apologizing? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I like just, I, m- I like, I marvel at the fact of the trajectory of it. It sometimes it dribbles and sometimes it shoots out. It's interesting. Yeah, no, I get it. I guess it's just for me, I'm just so used to it. just like dripping on a Kleenex. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> What if I just squirted in your face all of a sudden? Would you fucking be like, mm, par for the course, <laughs> whatever, I'm good. I'm not going to make any, I'm not going to make any re- like reaction to this. What if I just squirted all over you? Like, you know what I mean? Wait, that's a good point. That if you squirted it on my face, can yes. I come on your face? No, I'm talking about <laughs> the reaction. I'm talking about the reaction. I'm pretty sure my reaction would be, I would be just so happy I made you squirt. Exactly. Haven't you been practicing that? No, I don't know how to practice it. I, I thought you said you were it. you were trying to practice no, it. No, I, I try to be a little bit more free when I have an orgasm. It's like, oh, maybe that'll work. But I think, I don't know what, I don't really know what squirting is. It might be <laughs> pee, it might be cum, I'm not, it may be a combination of both. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I've never Googled it, so I'm not really sure. No, 100%. when you Google it, it says that it's pee. They do say that it's They pee. do. The Google said that it's pee. The Google. My mother calls it the lady on her phone. Oh, because she, she does. She's like, Siri, what's the number to the place? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, the lady on my phone. She tells me where to go. She's totally fine with it. So but si- I don't, I've never asked Siri, like, what is squirting? Hey, Siri, <laughs> what is squirting? <laughs> I found an answer. It's displayed on your iPhone. <laughs> And the answer that it's displayed is propelled violently in a usually narrow stream. It's P. (laughs) (laughs) Does anybody else have a question? Just raise a hand. Oh, Caitlin's got one. All right. These are good questions, everybody. Keep First it off, it's diluted P. <laughs> diluted P. Diluted P. I would take anything to my cum. face. See, Thank you. And, it was and, I could te- and I could teach you how okay. to. Oh. We'll, we'll talk about that after gotcha. the That's for a whole different <laughs> website. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have to have you over yeah. for a private session. No, I, w- I was wondering, uh, just for fun, if you guys would talk about ovipositors, if you know what those are. What's that? Uh, it's a sex toy that people are buying like crazy right now, and I don't understand why. And I would like to know if maybe you guys would use one. Who well, knows? tell us what it is. It's basically a hollow dildo that you can put eggs inside of and push them up through the dildo so they pop out inside of you. So it's like no. an alien laying no. eggs in you or no. something. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so just just a, just a little thing. No, it's an actual thing. You guys can. You I guys don't want any eggs in my vagina. It's I'm good. It's yeah. an actual thing. So no, we I are very yeah. we are very sex positive and <laughs> we don't think negatively upon any sexual act. But Just that's think probably of how something. Full you would feel, Janelle. Yeah, how no. full would you? You want to feel full? I do. I don't want to feel like a chicken popping eggs out of my pussy. Uh. Yeah, but here. Yeah. You. But I. Okay. No, hold on a second. I've but done Kegel. I've done the Kegel, the, 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 the Benoit balls. I've done that where we've I want to see you push that. an egg out of your pussy. I don't. Thanks. I've pushed a child out of my pussy, and I'm good with that. I don't know. That's a w- full-blown, like, person. Are these hard-boiled eggs? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they hard-boiled hard eggs? Boiled? Deviled eggs because... Gelatin eggs. They would melt in your pussy. How does that even work? If they were deviled eggs, I really like <laughs> deviled eggs. <laughs> With a little mustard and paprika on top. Yeah. Yes. If <laughs> if they were deviled eggs. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. So we want to make sure that it's so totally clear that if a person wanted to shove eggs yeah. Shove eggs in, in your pussy, pussy if you want to. With I'm a hollow dildo. I'm good. By all means, all day. And I definitely <laughs> am going to search that in my porn queue when I get home because I really want to see that. I've come to the weirdest shit 
<laughs> and I definitely hope to come to that. <laughs> like I, you know, I've seen Gelatin people gelatin eggs popping out of a pussy. Yeah, okay. it's just like All pussy. Right. No judgment. No, that's I'm, not why we're. Here. Thank you. They're called what? Ovipositors. We're. D- I think everyone here is gonna go on the internet and they're gonna look that up. Oh, Larry's got a question. <laughs> Easter did just get crazy. I was just thinking brunch tomorrow looks kind of <laughs> yeah. kind of exciting. <laughs> <laughs> brunch just got a lot better. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> so, does anybody else have a question? Raise your hand. You can literally ask us. And oh, we have Jessica. a question. Oh, we have Jessica, our, f- our most you. favorite yeah. listener, Jessica, in the audience. I don't know how to follow up an egg depositing <laughs> dildo question, but um, what's your favorite sex position and your least favorite sex position? Oh, oh. can can I answer yours and of you, course you you're answer gonna mine? Want it. Sure. So so I think and correct me if I'm wrong, Janelle loves it. I know what your favorite is. Okay, I well, know we'll we'll find out. We'll okay, find out. Fine. So Janelle's favorite is when she's laying face down with her legs together and someone is entering her from someone. Someone. You, me, or anyone? Okay, anyone. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be coy. And someone is and someone is mounted upon her and entering mounted her from. Mounted upon her. Yeah. Upon her body. Yeah. Or mounted on yeah, the woman. She's they're mounted As upon I her. As I enter the woman's vagina. <laughs> when they enter your rose my petals. My So is 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 that and then and then they're riding you while you're face down with them deep inside you. Is that is that correct? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like doggy style. Keep it basic. I like that one. Yeah, but you you like it more when they're when you're laying down and they're yeah. penetrating you. What's your least favorite? My least favorite? No, no, hold on. You guys say what my favorite is. Oh, your favorite is the chicken wing. What's the, what's the chicken wing? <laughs> the chicken wing? You guys don't know what the chicken wing is? <laughs> it's when you you <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thus be shy. I feel like I need to demonstrate. So when you like you spread like this, and the guy's like in between. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Side. Yeah. So like, so like when so I'm you this s- way. Yeah, you like yeah. spread it yeah, open I'm this like way. a chicken wing. So like your leg yeah, is so here, and I'm just like. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, like a chicken wing. And then you like you bend the leg back like a chicken wing. That's yeah, the chicken you, wing. Do you know why that's my favorite? I don't know. Because I feel like my dick's the biggest. True. <laughs> it's the position where I'm like, oh, I'm getting it. Look that's at this one. Look, she just was like, fuck yeah. You think that's I love true? the chicken the wing. Chicken wing, the chicken wing. I'm saying it's the chicken wing. Yeah, no, that's a real thing. Yeah. That's a that's real your thing. Favorite, right? That is my Am favorite. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay right hold, hold it, guys. The entire stage left area <laughs> thinks you're making <laughs> shit up about chicken wing. No, no that's true. How many people have ever heard of that called chicken wing? <laughs> That's bullshit. She did. Oh, she did. she did. Okay, there's two freaks over here that think yeah. that. <laughs> Nobody else in here knows what chicken no, but, wing is. No, but that was good, Janelle, because the chicken wing is something that you, like, pry open. and you then spread it open? You yeah, it you off. should say the double chicken wing, because it's one chicken wing spread open, another chicken okay, wing. Okay, you can mansplain uh, to me the chicken like wing. Buffalo chicken wing? What are you <laughs> talking about? Well, if it's a little spicy. I don't it's know. It's Latina. I don't really know. Hungry, I don't know. It's the, I got it's a little Parmesan. I'm Italian, It's the male-female so. scissor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the male female scissor. Yes, it is. Yeah, it Actually totally it is. is. Yeah, it's the male female scissor. Good I do point. Th- no, I do like I do like that. You do like that. That's your favorite one. That's no, your that go to move. That's my that's my end move. That's your end move. Like like I, I'm like like after I go down Let's on you go for into a little the bit. Chicken wing. Like after I go down on you for a little bit and then I'm like, Did you come and you're like whether it's true or not, yes. Then I go into the chicken wing because then that's when I'm gonna come. I know. That's why I said it's your favorite. Yeah, no, I totally. know you. I've been fucking you for 22 years. I know. That's a, <laughs> it's a long time. That's a long fucking time. Yeah. There's only so many different positions you could fucking do for 22 years. Yeah, I know, and a lot of them we're learning right now. Yeah, that's true. We're just like, oh, I saw this thing on a porn. Let's oh, try yeah. it out. Yeah, that's true. The only the only one though that I don't think that it's very feasible for us to do yet. Which one? Tell me. Challenge. I accept the challenge. It's, it's where you're doing a handstand, and then I'm standing. <laughs> Hold on. Oh wait, where they're twerking against the wall. Where and then her I? legs. I'm holding her legs up in the air. No, I don't have upper body strength. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, that that one we're still working on. Yeah, we need core strength for that. We need core strength. That's not gonna happen. 
<laughs> yeah, I do need to hit the gym. I do. <laughs> And the, the wheelbarrow, wheel barrel. yes. Exactly, the wheelbarrow. Yes. Barrel. Well, here's the thing. Not only do I need to hit the gym, but I definitely need like three inches on my dick. <laughs> there are certain positions that you just need an extra length. Like girth is useless for this position. You just need to be able to like get that extra mile. And that's where, pi like our previous conversation, that's where pills come in. I get that extra few, that, that extra little bit of oomph. Yes, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that extra <laughs> Yes, that's true. Does anybody else have a question? <laughs> oh, oh, our least. Okay, everybody's interested no, in our least. I mean, well, I can, don't know. Can I, I go first? Yes, of course. My least <laughs> is nothing. If my dick's inside her, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm oh, actually, you know what? The least is sometimes we'll listen to music and then oh, I he hates he no, hates it depends it. on the music. But sometimes no, we're listening, hates we're it. listening to music, and I'm just like, ah, oh. because like she'll be riding me, and she'll be like, oh, and when I say, <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, are we having sex or are you fucking doing karaoke? It is karaoke, yeah. yeah. So, so, so that because she'll be, because she'll be all like, and when my fucking when you get my fucking, and I'm just like, okay. So it kind of takes me a little bit out of the space. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Okay, I'm sorry. What What's your least favorite? I don't really have one. That's I a good answer because we try them all. No, we've tried a lot of them. No, there's got to be something that you don't like. That I don't like when yeah. your dick is inside of me? No. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, Ladies, be warned. <laughs> least favorite. Like, least. Like, it's not bad. It's She's going to be like, the favorite. chicken wing. <laughs> no, it's not the chicken wing. Well, it is kind of the chicken wing. Cause <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> she can't hide it. It's totally true. It is kind of the chicken wing uh -huh. only because I know that you're about to finish. And I'm like, it's over. <laughs> He's doing the chicken wing. Like, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I, I really don't appreciate all the extra <laughs> laughter <laughs> from the left hand side here. I appreciate this, though. <laughs> that was great. If I have to pick no, a least it favorite, it is that because I know you're like coming to a close, like yeah. we're, we're buttoning it up, we're tying yep. a bow, like because it's about to be. Because isn't it weird that I'm just kind of like very like, like, like I do this. It's like regimented. It's regimented. Yeah. It's like, and I don't mean it to be. Yeah. It's just like, because when you first get together, you're trying to make the other person like you. So you're True. just very much like, yeah, you can, like this one right <laughs> here. She's like, I love wrestling. I want to watch it all the time. Did not happen like once He's we got married. About, like WWF, WWE, bullshit, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Which I did enjoy, but I'm 40 now and I can't enjoy that anymore. So, so, w but when you've been married for like 10, 15, 20 years, that stuff doesn't fly anymore. You're so you really need to like kind of like be more, you know, you got to ask each other. And this is the thing that we talk about all the time. Like, say. Yes. Like, I've been doing the chicken wing for fucking 15 years. Do you like that? Yeah, true. And then she's like, no, because that you always come that way. So I'm like, all right, well, how about we do the chicken wing and the doggy style, and then I'll come <laughs> that way. <laughs> Except if I'm not in the mood, and then I'm like, do the chicken wing. It's fine. This, it'll be over. It'll be <laughs> over soon. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. Like, like yes, the chicken wing. <laughs> I can go back to fucking Food Network at some point in the next five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens when you're si w when you've been married for so long you know what's gonna get you there like like i'll be like oh like i'll start like to, to like kiss her pussy and then i'll like lick on her clit and she'll be like mm -mm. <laughs> just just come and i'll be like well i want you to come no it's not gonna happen tonight and i'm like well thank you for telling me i'm just gonna stand in the corner looking at you sleep and i'll come fine <laughs> We we actually did this thing one time where she was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you what you're about to say. She's like asleep, <laughs> <laughs> but but she was awake when we started, so there was consent. <laughs> so she's like asleep, and I'm still going at it, and I was like, oh shit, she fell asleep. 
Now I'm gonna come. This was probably the night at Trank of Steak. It probably where I've was had like night. way too many glasses. Yes, of Yes, and we got home at like two fifteen, yeah, two thirty in the exactly. morning. Exactly. Yeah. So so she's totally passed out. We started with her being like, "No, just fuck me the chicken wing," <laughs> which I didn't know till today that that was her. I'm not in the mood. I just want you to come. So I'm having a problem right now. So I'm like sitting there, I'm fucking her, and she's a, and, she, and and I hear this. I'm not even I'm not even fucking kidding. You guys think it was a joke, but I hear. Mm. And there was this little piece of me that was like, oh, shit. And then there was a piece of me that was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, then, so then I come, and it, like we go to bed, and she wakes up, and she's like, oh. <laughs> so she puts her fingers down there, and she comes up, and it's like stale cum. And she's like, did, you, did we have sex last night? I was like, you were totally into it. She's like, oh, okay. And did you know this is a true story? Yeah. What, what story is this? I don't, I don't know. know. It's what my memory. About? That's not true at all. It's I would never stick my fingers in my pussy and be like, oh, did you come at me? Like, I would never <laughs> do that. <laughs> okay. I'm never that drunk enough. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> do, you ag- do you agree that sometimes you don't necessarily like, remember oh, stuff? That's not me. Well, That's that was me. my memory of it. That's not the correct memory. But do you agree that sometimes you remember things differently than, than I no, do? No, I have a better memory than you. <laughs> always, always, always. Okay, so let me ask you a question in front of all of these amazing people. Sure. What did we talk about in the episode titled Podcast Potpourri? We talked about bullshit. We were, like, exhausted. No, s- name something specific. I don't know. Okay, so if I name something specific that we talked about in the episode, will you say that my memory is We talked than about how you hate your job, and we're exhausted, and we're tired, and we didn't really want a podcast. Boom. That was good. Thank okay, you. everybody, she's right. <laughs> Thank you. And in Thank front you. of a bunch of people and the world, I was proven wrong once yes, more. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Questions. Yay, women. Anybody have a question? What was that, Monica? You have a question? <laughs> So everybody, give it up for Monica. Monica! She made our logo. Yes. She's been manning the the she's table so for the beautiful. raffles. She's so talented. And she if she doesn't us. answer, if she doesn't ask a question, we're gonna t- ask a question for her, <laughs> <laughs> which will be relevant to her. <laughs> this is my future daughter-in-law. Just yes. let you know. Um. Yes, I guess I have a question. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Monica. What's your question? Um. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you said you weren't going to be nervous, yeah, so I did get say it that. together. Okay, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, how do you deal with jealousy having multiple, like. Oh, that's I a knew good that was fucking gonna be, I question. Knew, I knew that was going to be your so question. So, your question is how do we deal with jealousy when having I get multiple jealous, partners? He does. Yeah. I get jealous, he okay. does not. So, okay. I don't. I, I, by show of hands, how many people here have are married or have been married? Raise your hand. For all the men in the audience, this is for you. The women get jealous 100% of the time. True. The True. guys do not get jealous because, again, and I reiterate this, we're just happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like when Janelle goes and, you know, there's been times where she has to, like, sh- like I'll be like, you should go. And she's like, I want you to come with me. And I'm like, no, baby, you need to do this on your own. And then she'll go and she'll fuck a guy and she'll come back. And then I get to fuck her and I'm like, this is all about me right now. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. And I'm just I'm just excited to be a part of it. You know, I have something to say to this. There's yes. a psychology to this. There's a psychology. I, yes, there is a psychology to this. I'm not a psychotherapist. Mm. I'm not educated. But you do have emotional intelligence. I do have a high level of emotional <laughs> intelligence. Thank you to Geico for teaching me that. <laughs> Hashtag Geico for life. Uh, but I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just totally kidding. Kidding. Um, but I do, I do believe that it's, uh, it's a psychology for you. It's a, it's like a thing for you where I can go explore. I'll call it exploring. Right. And then when I come home to you, you are the person that takes care of me and loves me and won't come in my eyeballs, even though I've never let that happen ever with anyone. Just to make that clear. So you do set that. I at do set that. No, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Ever. But you, you like to take care of me, and so you almost feel like you know. I swear, like ninety for ninety-five percent of the time, it's not 
necessarily pleasurable. It's more like for the experience. And it almost always n- like doesn't end in me having an orgasm. So when I come to home to you, you're like, here's how I can make you feel good. That's right. So that's like I'm an ego boost it. for you. It is. So it's like this weird dynamic that it we is. have. And we're putting it all out there. We're here yeah. talking about this in yeah. front of all of you. And we're on a podcast, so we're talking about it, and we, you know, we put it out there to the world. So yeah. I th- do you agree with that? I do. But I also think that it comes from communication. Yeah. Because we had a situation in which um, we met this person on a website. We go off and we meet her for drinks. Everything seems to be working really well. She's not really into women. We come back home, and she's oh not yeah. she's not really doing anything oh for yeah, you. Oh yeah, I was like, bitch, get out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you then to go. and then so you so you're like full naked, and you're like, you guys finish up. I'm gonna go to the living room, and I'm like, aha, mm-hmm. I know better. That's not gonna I really happen. I did believe that in that moment. No, you did in that moment. But the thing is, it's like. We were able to tell each other, and this is the most important thing, and it doesn't matter if you go outside of the relationship, if you're still in the like relationship. But I feel like the fight would have been the same if you had continued. Oh, yeah, yeah. As I opposed knew, to not I continue. knew that if I would have just fucked her and came, the fight was 100% equal. Yeah, we still had an argument. We did, yeah. totally. But the thing is, it's like, I assume that it'd be like 1% less, but it was the same amount. But the thing is, is that that taught us that we need to tell each other what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. In the relationship. It was a lesson. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're just with each other or if you're trying to go outside of a relationship. When, you t- when you're in a marriage or you're just in a third date or whatever it is, society needs to start telling each other what they want. Absolutely. Because only and in not telling... And not be scared to be who you are. And not be scared, yeah. yeah. And we've talked about this in many episodes in which we say, like, if you tell someone, I like this... And that person no longer wants to be with you. It's like boom, done. Get that, out. That was that's not the relationship that you're supposed to be in. You ha you should be able to like perfect example. Janelle has said on many occasions that she wants to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> We've all cleared that. I w- said I want to try it. I Come I on. Understand, I understand. But the thing is is that she when she tells me that, there's no judgment on my end of which I'm like, you're never gonna do that. I'm a fucking man. No, nothing. I'm like, I hear you and I accept you. Ain't gonna happen yeah. yet, <laughs> but the thing is, is that acceptance? Just the pinky. Yeah, exactly. the pinky. We're Maybe. we're we're good. We're pinky doing that tonight. tonight. Yeah, tonight. Tonight, tonight the pinky yeah. is. Which is weird because Monica's sleeping in the <laughs> next room <laughs> with our oldest, and then Monica's gonna be like, "What, Aunt? You don't want the Ron's pinky? Like, Your dad <laughs> is in the next room oh my God. getting the pinky. I know you want to be like him. No, I'm." But basically what I'm saying is that like Yeah, our point is to be honest and open with your partner, whoever it may be, and just you know, be who you are. Like don't be afraid to be who you wanna be because if you fake it, it's not gonna bring you any happiness in life. Because so. for a l- very long time the two of us admittedly faked a lot of what we wanted from each other because just like you didn't think I w- that sharing your ass with me would is something you do with your husband well you didn't and then you got to eat a girl's ass and then you were like okay i'm down for this <laughs> no i understand but you got to tell that next time no i understand but so so there's other episodes to listen to but what i'm saying yeah. is that like there's things in the relationship that you don't tell each other and then that can create like a divide and yeah. then there's just something freeing about being able to say like I like looking at this kind of porn yeah. and the other person being like, okay, cool. I'll watch it with you and l- yeah. l- let me let me indulge your fantasy. Right. And that's the person you want to be with. Right. The person you want to be with is someone who's indulging your fantasies, how little or how extravagant that they are. There's nothing wrong with you if you're just like missionary sex or if you like having 16 dudes fuck you. Right. Which we've never done. I don't want to... <laughs> Bring it on. I'm yeah. down. Like, would, y- would you do 16? Yeah. Okay, well, Why that's not? for a future episode. <laughs> so I, I guess right now the question, did that, did that answer your question? Okay. <laughs> 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 so we have time for one more question. One more question. Anybody oh, here Horatio. Is, here it comes. Let me hand you the microphone. So this oh, is our last question for the evening. Long time listener, first time caller. Oh, nice, nice. Long time listener, first time caller. Great. Um, I guess going on what you guys are talking about, communication and everything, um, I've had other friends that 
kind of your situation. They realized. So you're asking for a friend? No, I no th- no no. Uh, they were together and they uh, no. This is my personal question, but they were in a sim- similar situation that you guys were in. Mm-hmm. Realized that hey, I w- we want to see other people outside our marriage. So um, at what point in time did you guys realize when you know what time did you guys realize we want to see other people and when wh- how did that conversation go down? Do you want to answer? Sure. We. We have been married for again like twenty two years. Nineteen ninety nine. We got together in nineteen ninety eight. That's been a long time. We broke up for a little bit because of outside about like two years ago, two and a half years ago. Well it's been like three years or something. Yeah. I don't know. Regardless of that. But we got married very young and so when we broke up we were like, Okay, we hate each other. Definitely. Not really. But no. we thought we, we did. We we thought we did. We thought we did. And so we separated for a little bit, and um, I got an apartment. He got an apartment. <laughs> 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 and so, you know, I had my fun. He had his fun. We we were together when we, I was eighteen when I met him. I was nineteen when we got married. So we needed to like explore other things, and so. Through that, we realized also that we really loved each other, and he's my best friend, like, through and through. Even if we weren't together, you know, in a relationship, he'd still be my best friend. Even though it's hard to, like, when we weren't together to see him with other people, that was difficult. Um, And he always wants to share it and be like, I went on a date last night. And I'm like, why? Whatever. So he always wanted to share that information. I'm like a little bit more closed off, so I didn't always share that information with him. But we worked through that. And then, you know, always through and through, like I was being with other people, having sex with other people, talking to other people. But he knew me like no one else knew me, not even my mother. I don't have a dad. Well, I do, but he's a shithead and whatever. But like he's the person that's like there for me, right? Always in my whole life, my whole entire life. And so it was like he's going to be who I, who I want to be with. I don't know. We just realized that through breaking up for a year a- or a year and a half or whatever it, was, it was. It was a year. And so when we got back together, I was like, okay, like you're who I want to be with. But I also like to do – like I like the outside activities. Like I like that. It's fun. We who doesn't want to fuck other people? Yeah. yeah. And, we, you know, I, we, got, we got married. Like I have not had sex with that many people in my life. I liked exploring. I liked playing around with other people. And then he was like, I don't know about that. And then we just worked through it. And through communication, we were like, okay, maybe this could work. You yeah, know? like there was this one time where she, because like we broke up and I got my own apartment and it turned out that we found out something and this is a super huge point that we, I, I'm glad we get to tell you all. This but is so serious. I'm yeah. sorry. So, I don't so know. I'm when sorry we, when we broke up, we found out like, so like she started coming over to my place like every once in a while and we would have sex like once a week almost mm-hmm. unless we were like in a fight where I was like, I don't like you. And she's like, I don't like you either. But we were like, w- so then suddenly we realized that we enjoyed having personal space. And when you have two children, right. you realize that as a married person with kids, you give up all of yourself yeah. and to your children. And that's where we got lost because we didn't remember that we loved each other and that we were just living for our kids. Right. So when I got my own apartment, it kind of gave us a bang pad is what we called it. Yeah, it was a bang pad. Yeah. So again, I recommend that to everyone that's yeah. married with children, just having like a, a pad bang pad. Where you, if you could afford it, it's yeah. very beneficial. We couldn't afford it, but we weren't together. So yeah, we then suddenly together. we can afford we no it, but choice. we can't afford it today, <laughs> which is weird. Ron's so like we just need another place. So, so we had this bang pad and then we would have sex and then she would be like, oh, you like fucking that girl the other day? I was like, yeah, I like fucking her. And she's like, you like fucking her? And I'm like, yeah. And then all of a sudden our sex life got like crazy and like really and in, in, in it's because I'm very competitive yeah and, and then all of a sudden <laughs> I was like I'm gonna be better than her so then so. suddenly we realized that th- that what was missing in our life was that and it's a thing that I feel like every married couple goes through who has children or even a single mom or a single dad with kids you forget who you are right. and we started to learn that we need to start asking each other for the things that we want right. in life. And exactly. our show is completely and utterly a creation to go out there and tell people 
Go home. Ask for what you want. Tell the person that you love the things that you like, even if it's crazy. Even if, if you think that it's like, this person's never going to look at me the same when I ask them, trust me. If you sell, tell someone what you want and they look at you in the wrong way, we promise that person wasn't the one for you. Mm -hmm. But don't be afraid. Like, open yourself up. Accept it. Let it happen. And that's what happened with us. And we have a lot of fun. And we now have this show in which we absolutely love. We thank every single person here who came out tonight to see thank us. Thank you so like, much. Like, we could not have asked for an, a more amazing I evening. go back to, I thought there was going to be three guys in trench coats in yeah. here. So I thank you all for coming and out. And Barry thanks you for not having come you're all over the floor. You're <laughs> welcome. The uh, three guys in trench coats are in the <laughs> lobby. Uh, they're waiting for you. I'll meet them after the How about a big hand show. for Ron and Janelle, everybody? <laughs> thank you so much. Fantastic show. Absolutely fantastic. We'll have... Uh, we're expecting this to go Netflix, probably a 10-episode season. So, uh, okay. I mean, come on. Pray for uh, us. Shouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> All right. Thanks for <laughs> coming tonight, everybody. Thank you. Figuratively oh. speaking. Oh, we're going to do the raffle. I'm going to go get the stuff. We forgot that Yes. Part. So, Monica, want to grab us the raffle boxes. <laughs> we're going to do the raffle right now. I'll get the boxes. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> you want chicken wings? I know. <laughs> so, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, totally. Except I feel like Janelle should be the one because the cock ring was the only one that I could have talked about, and I didn't get to use that one. So when Janelle comes back out with the toys, she's going to tell you about each and every one and how she used them because they were fun. Like when uh, our last episode, the Reese and Rose episode called Toys R Us, Janelle was like, oh, I could feel this, and it w I could probably come in like 3.5 seconds. And I thought she was kidding. She was not. The night we used, oh, you can come here, Monica. And it wasn't full. Who said that? Yes, because you heard it on your way here. Yes, it was not fully charged, but it definitely got the job done very quickly. I think she came like once or twice with all three toys. We're talking about you, honey. I'm like Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Santa Claus. <laughs> so, so we're going to do the first toy, which is the one you just put up. I want to know if Andre put in money for yeah, one of did these. Did Andre, did you put in money for the cock ring? <laughs> I know you did. I know you did. All right, everybody, get your tickets out. And then, uh, honey, you want to pull that out? You want to stick your hand in there and pretend it's my ass? My hands are very big. 244-2608. Oh! <laughs> Which one is this? This one's the... the that that oh. is okay. So winter, so winter Janelle, can you t can you talk about this toy? It's the one that is very elastic. Oh, okay. So this one is incredible. You could actually like rub it on rub your. So you sorry, sorry. I have a problem with it in my face, as I said. But you could stick it like you could you could put it inside of you, and then also bend it to like rub on your clitoris at the same time. So it's very delicious. It's very flexible. It's very delicious. It's good. We did some product testing. Not with the ones you're, you can see it's in plastic. It's in plastic, so not that <laughs> one. So um, this is the next one. You want to put your hand in there? This is this one? Yep. Dun, dun, dun. See, I'm fisting this. She's guy. fisting the box. Let's just shake it up. Okay, let's shake it up again. All right, we got 244-2615. <gasps> yes! Oh, snap. Okay, this so one? now, yes. So now this oh one no, right this here, one. that's the wand massager. Okay, you're going to want to be careful with this one. It's very powerful. So so it's do you remember when we powerful. were talking about the Hitachis where the yeah. top of it was very big? <laughs> So th this one works <laughs> both ways. It's got the top and it's got the bottom. And this was the one that Janelle said that she can get her off in like 3.5 seconds. It's when super powerful. And you can also stick the tip inside a little bit. The little thing. It's like a little thick on the end. It's very, very good. <laughs> so we would love for everyone to go to at so what it's just SX on Instagram yes. or at so what it's just sex on Facebook and tell us how you love the toys. So now we're uh, on the big massage. The, ma the massager. The massager. This yeah. one. This one was my f my favorite so far. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 244 2709. Hey. Oh! This is a good one. So They're all good. They're all good. So now, this one right here is actually really good at giving massages. <laughs> <laughs> and but then also, if you want to stick it in your girlfriend or wife, that's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> no, you could put it in the you butt. You could put it in the butt too. You no, not my butt. butt. No, not, not my butt. butt. Not yet. But your butt, if on you want. On the next it show, to be in there. we can do that. <laughs> yes, I will. I will actually. If you listen in, I will tell you how the pinky goes. But now we have to do the pinky, so that that way people can kind of get the, an idea how that goes. But actually, that I can't one. Can't wait to see who wins. Yeah, this, th this is the this is the uh, this Batman is cockering one. This is my favorite. So um, we I'm haven't used this one. We now. haven't used that one yet. I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. Yeah, so you you tried to use it the <laughs> other day, and <laughs> you couldn't figure out how to get it turned yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. But I was at work. Yeah, you were. So that tells. So here's the thing, everybody. This can also be used on a dildo. So it's not yes. you don't just need a cock. Yes. You can put it on the end of your dildo, your yes. favorite toy that you probably had for a while, and you put this on the end of. Yes, because I'll do that too. I'll have like a, I have a vibrator. <laughs> I know Chris is loving this right now. Chris, I love you. Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate this. You have you have the stimulator on your clit, and then you could have something inside of you, and that's like the best orgasm. Yeah, so and you could use this on a dildo. Yeah, and if you win two of them, you can use both of them on the on <laughs> okay. the. Oh yeah. So here you go. Oh my god. All right. Two four four two six one six. Oh what? yeah! You guys are gonna have the best time. Oh tonight. yeah! <laughs> yep. Come on, babe. You got the Batman, the Come on, babe. Hero. Oh my God! Come that's on, the babe. best so thing you've ever that met. Thing, so that it, when it's tight around your <laughs> dick, that's a good thing. Apparently, you because go around you your balls. Yeah, your well, balls. Kaylin, I don't know about the balls. You want to talk to Kaylin? I, I would look it up online. <laughs> but Kaylin's a pro. What porn site? Oh, well, any porn site. <laughs> But but when you put that around your dick, it's super tight and it, it helps you last at least fifteen minutes longer. Yeah, fifteen minutes. At least fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So. You're gonna so have now, to hit so us up on Instagram and let us know. If so it she she's lasted. about to have nineteen minutes worth of sex <laughs> that she may not have had previously. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, everybody. We really yes, appreciate you, you coming so out. Much. We absolutely love you all so much. Uh, we're gonna be outside in just a minute. I s totally have to pee, and then we'll all t <laughs> we'll all thank you personally. We'll be outside in just a moment. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So what? It's just sex. Wait a minute.